basically to treat them the way that I want to be treated. I try to think of their problems as if it was my problem. How would I want to be treated? How would I want it to be handled? And I try to give them that. I try to give them the respect that I would want. It made my situation a lot easier. It was, um, they were really helpful. They were there for me and I'm sure you guys are there for a lot of other difficult situations more than mine was. I thought based on other people's story that, you know, usually I'm a deadbeat dad and everyone's going to look at me funny. And I didn't receive that uh, type of treatment. Um, my mom's been through it and my brother. Because so, I, I, I didn't know what to do. This is my first baby. And I didn't know where to go or who advice to take. So I was pretty much shocked at the whole situation because the relationship with the girl and I was pretty good. And she really didn't notify me that, you know, I was a potential for her. Uh, father for a child and when everything went down it was a real big shock for me and I was more just upset about everything so but actually it's okay now. Customers, clients come in here they're angry, they're frustrated or they're just agitated because it's the first time they get a court papers and they don't understand them and just the way we we set our tone with them good morning sir, good morning ma'am oh it's a pleasure helping you that's what we're here for some of, the, some of the customers tend to say, well, I'm sorry that I'm asking so many questions. And like I always tell them, it's okay, I get paid to do that. It's my job to help you. Now, let's explain the child support services we provide. These include opening a child support case, establishing paternity, establishing a support order, modifying an existing support order, and finally, Collecting and Enforcing Child Support Orders We get new cases several ways. If the custodial party is receiving public assistance or the children are in foster care, the case is referred to us by the Social Service Agency. Any parent can request services. We'll also enforce child support orders from existing divorce and paternity actions. If you want to open a case with us, there are several ways to do it. You can go to your local child support agency and fill out an application. You can call the statewide Customer Connect number at 1-866-901-3212 and ask that an application be sent to you. Or you can visit the State Department of Child Support Services website and download the forms. The web address is www.childsup.ca.gov To secure a child support order, our office files a civil lawsuit and then formally serves it on the parent we're asking to pay support. First and foremost, I had to have all the paperwork. That was the first thing. Everything that I had, and I had to be clear and precise, or as precise as I could be about events, dates, times, um, and the um, family support officer that I spoke to was really good about prompting uh, what I needed, what was important, what wasn't important, um, because it's not, um, it's, it, it's not a time or it, it's not a place to really be angry at uh, the uh, person who's not paying child support. What's important is, is that you're getting ready to advocate for your child. If you're the parent being served with a lawsuit, it is very important that you respond to the court within 30 days. If you do not want to file a response with the court, but would like to reach an agreement for support, contact your caseworker. If an agreement is reached, we'll file it with the court, and you will not need to attend a court hearing. If you want to file a response with the court, the document you must file is called an answer. You should have received a blank copy of this form when you were served with a lawsuit. There is no fee to file your answer with the court, and if you choose to file an answer, you must give us a copy. If you need assistance completing the form, you can contact the Family Law Facilitator. We can give you their contact information. The next step is setting your case for a court hearing, and you will have a chance to appear. If you don't appear in court or respond to the lawsuit, our office can still get a child support order against you. Establishing paternity provides a child of parents who are not married the same legal rights as a child born to married parents, such as support from both parents, legal documentation of his or her parents, access to family medical history, medical and life insurance, 
inheritance rights and social security or veterans benefits. Actually today I have been getting some results before. Um, they didn't know that he was in the military the first time I came here so I was sent home and then the second time I came he had challenged the paternity so I had to do a DNA test and now that the DNA results are back we were actually able to get a final closure of the support. Once paternity is determined, either parent can request custody and visitation orders. If paternity is an issue in your case and you want a genetic test, we can schedule one if appropriate. The genetic test is free and either parent may request one. We obtain DNA samples using a simple cotton swab similar to a Q-tip which is rubbed against the inside of the mouth. If you fail to take the genetic test, the court can rule that you are the parent of the child or children in the case. The amount of child support a person is ordered to pay is set using a statewide guideline formula. This considers the income of each parent, the amount of time each parent spends with the child, and certain other factors. The formula does not consider living expenses like rent, credit card bills, or car payments. If your net income is below $1,000 per month, you may qualify for a low-income adjustment towards the child support amount. We are required to obtain an order for health insurance with every child support order we file. Either party may request a review of their case to make sure the child support order is accurate. Once we've reviewed the case, you can either sign an agreement for the new amount or the case will be set for a court hearing. A child support order is enforced in many ways. If the paying party has a job, a wage assignment is sent to the employer and the child support is automatically deducted from that person's wages. Other steps include reporting to credit agencies, referring to the full collections program of the California Department of Child Support, who can seize bank accounts and state tax refunds, submission to the IRS to intercept federal tax refunds, placing liens on real or personal property, suspend a U.S. passport if there is unpaid child support. The state of California may also suspend driver's licenses or other professional licenses such as medical, dental, and state bar licenses for non-payment of child support. If the paying party receives disability or unemployment benefits, up to 25% of the benefits can be deducted for child support payments. A lien can be placed in a workers' compensation case. Child support arrears can be an overwhelming issue. If you're behind in making your child support payments, we want you to understand that our goal is to work with you to establish a reasonable payment plan and discuss all options for managing the debt. We can also review your case to see if you qualify for a reduction in the amount of arrears. What I have noticed uh, the improvement in the child support service is that they are more responsive to father's needs now, I notice. Uh, when I went in uh, several months ago, uh, one of the associates really listened to what I had to say, and I really, they really took heart to that. Child support customers throughout California now have access to a statewide system which makes it easier to make payments and access information about their child support cases. It's called Customer Connect and is available through a toll-free automated phone number, 1-866-901-3212, along with a secure self-service website at www.casdu.com. Customer Connect offers new payment options. Parents can now pay their support by checks or money orders sent directly to the state disbursement unit, wage assignment or notice to withhold support directly from the paying party's paycheck by the employer. Customer Connect accepts credit card payments. And Customer Connect can accept an electronic transfer of funds to pay child support. If you're the person receiving support, there are some great new features with Customer Connect that can get the support to you faster and more securely. We can direct deposit into your bank account. 
Another great option is the electronic payment card. If necessary, you may have a check mailed to you from the State Disbursement Unit. Remember, if you need information about your child support case, you can contact us through Customer Connect at 1-866-901-3212. Children are entitled to financial support from both parents. We are here to help children receive the support they deserve.